So today we want to go through about planning our sin and you know looking at references on on how we can plan for our sin. So when we started out this tutorial, we wanted to create a modern loft with an industrial twist to it. So so the first step would then be to research you know reference pictures and to have a better idea of what we want to create. So you know we we look through the internet, we we just browse through some magazines and 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 we look at what an industrial themed interior design look like and 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 so we gathered a few pictures so as you can see you know i i think what is really popular is that um industrial themed houses have um have exposed bricks you know so stuff like that um and um so, sometimes they they don't even have plaster on it and they just have pure exposed bricks on it so we will um we will experiment a bit and and you know, decide which one is the best. But I think having bricks is a must. Um, exposed bricks. Um, the other thing is, of course, uh, black metal is, is used as one of the main elements in an industrial themed uh, interior design. So if you look at some of these designs, they, they feature a lot of um, black industrial metals, you know, and, and I-beams and stuff like that. So we want to include that into our design as well. But of course, um, there's also a lot of wood fittings and warm colors. So if you look at the sofa, you know, look at this particular design. I think the wood um, create a lot of warmness into the scene um, as opposed to just black metal. So I think um, we, we want to go for a design that is, that is warm, that has red bricks and, and red wood. You know, but, but yet there's also modern that is complemented by the black metal. You know, so so I think that's that's the idea that we are going for. So like for example this uh so far as well, it looks really fantastic, you know. So um so we have after looking at these different pictures we have a better idea of what we want to create. You know, of course we also wanna um look at references of what a loft is. So so you know we, we, we look at various um pictures of a loft and we we thought okay um on the second floor we want to put our bedroom you know i think that would be very nice um uh, with with a study room beside it so we can do some um some stuff uh, you know some work in uh, in our study room of course uh, on the first floor there will be like a studio style kitchen and living room you know um also we didn't really want to spend a lot of time modeling this project you know so we didn't want a like a like a custom made um, kitchen and stuff like that so we'll be using a lot of loose furnitures you know just like this these are loose furnitures um, in, in our design we don't really want to you know um, remodel a lot of things so so we are very happy with just loose furnitures of course uh, we're also looking at full-size windows because loft you know usually they are built in a in a apartment high level apartment so so we we want to have a full size windows to enjoy the scenery um that is uh, outside the loft right so so usually like what i shared in the previous video you know we will have a layout diagram that is uh, given by the you know developers of the house and stuff like that so so this comes in picture format but for the purpose of this tutorial we downloaded a layout diagram you know, which is from this design uh, to be used in our modeling. So of course, the next step will then be to take this picture layout diagram and put it in AutoCAD file and get the layout file with the correct dimensions in it. So yeah, so that's basically how we start to plan, you know, what we really want, some ideas, think about ideas on uh, what we want to do with the house, you know. Um, so. So that's basically um, the planning stage. So before we end, I just want to share a bit more on how you can support the channel. So first of all, um, all the PowerPoint files that we use in this tutorial, you can download it. So when you download the PowerPoint files and any project files that we give to the channel through Gumroad, your email will be um, captured by us. So we will send some marketing materials in the future if you allow us to do so. Of course, you can choose to opt out, but this will help us in our marketing efforts. Of course, um, the final UE4 project file, 
uh, it will be for sale as well. So if uh, it is it is priced at a usual tutorial cost fee, but this is absolutely not compulsory. So if you feel you want to support the channel, you can get the UE4 project file um, for a price. So all these links, uh, as we are preparing for the YouTube uh, videos, we will slowly add all these files into our Gumroad page. So some are not ready yet, some are already can be downloaded. So you can refer to the YouTube description for the links to where to download these project files. And also, I just want to share with you the way to contact us. We have a YouTube channel. Um, you can contact us directly through email. And of course, the easiest way to find us actually is through our Facebook channel. You can directly message us. So these are the links to where you can contact us if you have any questions, you need any help. Uh, feel free to just look for us. Uh, of course, um, if you can remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button. So when we post a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lesson.